What's up you guys? It's your girl A Holiday and I am back with another video and as you can tell by the title I am giving you guys a full face plus a glitter cut crease. So no more rambling. Let's jump right into it and as you can see I already based my face primed my face and now we're going to get right into the eyes so the eyeshadow base that i'm using today is by nyx and it's the white eyeshadow base um eventually you will see that it's basically going to turn into the color that i use to do my brows which is perfectly fine this is all that i have for an eyeshadow base and i actually love it way better than actually using my own skin tone color base now we're using the BH Cosmetic Contour Palette and we're going to go ahead and use one of these colors out of here for a transition color. Now you might need to use a different color out of this palette but I thought the color that I chose was the perfect color for my skin tone as a transition color. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the outer crease and the upper crease of your eyelid. Now we're going to go in with that Brown Script Eyeshadow by MAC and we're going to place this directly under the transition color we just used. And it is okay to diffuse the two, so if you want to go ahead and blend the two out, then that is perfectly fine. Trust me, blending in this technique and this look is going to be just what you need. Now we're going to take our Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm getting into the deep, dark, burgundy color whatever you want to call it but basically i'm using this color and i'm going to now put this on the outer crease and i'm going to kind of focus this on the outer crease and i may actually bring it in just a little towards the middle but i do want to make sure i am focusing on the outer crease of my eyelid okay so i don't know what happened but clearly i wasn't recording but as you can see i went in the jacqueline hill palette and i put that royal blue on my eyelid so this is what you're going to do as a base for your glitter so i can kind of kind of outline but this is really not your outline but where your glitter is going to go and how the look is going to look Now, if you are interested, you can actually just leave your eyeshadows like this and blend a little more between your transition colors and the royal blue because this look is an actual look, you guys. Okay, so now it's time to cut your crease. And to cut the crease, I'm going to go ahead and use an oval brush. And then I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow base. Um, so usually at right here, as you can see, I actually put it in the middle of my eye and then I look up. And the reason why I do that is because it kind of helps me um, stop from overlining my cut crease so meaning if your eyelid is not that big you don't want to go too far over your eyelid yes you do want to go over your eyelid but not too far over your eyelid so doing that method definitely helps and and then on the next eye you're going to be able to see where i did not do it and you can see what happened with me not doing that method Okay, so now I'm taking my NYX Glitter Base, Pigment Glitter Base is what it's called. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my eye using the same over brush but the other side. And then after that, we're going to go in with that glitter. So the glitter of choice that I'm using today is the NYX Glitter and it is in the color turquoise if I'm not mistaken. If not, I will have all the items listed in the description box below. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start applying the glitter. And I'm using a brush from a store called Icing. I'm not sure if you all ever had that store. But it's kind of remind me of Eclairs. But we no longer have it here in my hometown. So, yeah, I'm just basically packing on the glitter with that brush. And to be honest, it took a lot of glitter to pack on. I don't know why, but it took a lot. Now here's where I went wrong. I did not put my eyeshadow base in the center of my eye and look up on this eye. So you're going to be able to see what happens when you don't do that and basically how you can correct it as well. Um, but yes, I am putting the same eyeshadow base down first and then I'm going to go in with the glitter pigment from NYX as well. And then we're going to go in with the glitter after that. Okay, so now here we are about to start packing the glitter onto the other eye. Now, for some reason, to me, it looks as if this eye was taking more glitter for some reason. I don't know. But, yeah, so now we just go ahead and start packing all of the glitter onto the other eye. You guys, I probably had to empty glitter into my hand maybe like three times in order to cover my full cut crease. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if you want to use another glitter or not, but that's basically what I had to do using this kind of glitter. 
Okay, so here I am now fixing my other eye because I noticed one cut crease was higher than the other. So when one cut crease is higher than the other, you guys, all you need to do is get some eyeshadow base and, of course, your glitter. And just make sure you outline the top just a little, not too much, not too much. And then go back in with your glitter to top that off. Now, you might make a mistake again, to be honest, because I feel like I made another mistake doing this as well, because I took this one too high, but eventually it all came together. So, I wasn't really feeling my outer crease, so what I did was went in with a dark brown from the same palette, the Jaclyn Hill palette. It actually wasn't a dark brown, it was like a dark, deep plum. And I just basically went in and put that on my outer crease. Now, if you're looking at my face right now, you're probably like, this looks a hot mess and you're right because I was saying the same thing and I was not feeling it at all so what I did and this is why I say blending is the key ladies blending is the key I went in with a different brush and I started blending everything together from my transition colors to my outer crease except my glitter of course I left my glitter alone but as far as everything else I started blending it out and it started to come together and I was like okay I can see where I'm going now okay so off camera the only thing I did was apply some eyeliner of course to the look and now we're gonna go ahead and start moving on to our foundation but so far this is how the eyes look and I'm loving it so far you guys I'm loving it so for the foundation today we're gonna go ahead and use the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation please excuse my broken nail and, but before we apply the foundation, I am going to use some MAC Fix Plus Spray, the matte. And then we're going to go ahead and start applying our foundation. Now, as I was applying my foundation, I noticed this look did really, really, really dark on me. And I was wondering what might have happened. But I also have to realize and remember that this foundation has to set. Because it oxidizes into your skin, which means it will eventually change into another color. So, as you can see later on you will be able to see that it oxidizes and there is something else that I did also to help it look more like my skin. And as you can see, here is where you notice the foundation starts to oxidize into your skin. But however, I went in with my Black Radiance foundation stick and I just added a little on my cheekbone on both sides and then I went to blend that out. And I've also noticed that also helped like make my foundation more of my skin i don't know for some reason my skin tone changes so much you guys it's ridiculous like it really is but i really 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 like this foundation stick on top of my nits can't stop won't stop and i think this is a go for me and i probably will start doing this forever and ever and ever <laughs> Okay, now it is time to contour. So for the contour, I am using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I am putting it under my eyes, on my chin, on the bridge of my nose, and in the middle of my forehead. And that is basically the only places I put my concealer. Okay, now it's time to blend our concealer out. Now, usually, you guys, I use a beauty blender. But today, for some reason, I didn't feel like using a beauty blender. I wanted to use a makeup brush to see what was the difference. Is there a difference? And I'm going to be honest with you guys, there is a difference. So, I might be canceling beauty blenders back out of my makeup routine. But as far as right now, I'm definitely into using only brushes when I contour. So as you can see, everything is, to me, is blending out perfectly, like perfectly. There is no like demarcations, any lines or anything. Everything is just blending to me. Now it is time to contour our face. So, as you can tell today, I didn't want to use any cream contour. I honestly only use this palette. Again, it's from the BH Cosmetics Contour Palette, and I honestly love it. But I only use this palette, and it gave me life, you guys. Like, it gave me so much life. So, this might be another method that I may start only doing is just using... You know, this, this palette right here, and which is powder. It's no cream. It's no nothing. It's just powder. And that's basically to set my contour. But today, I didn't use it to set. I actually use it to actually contour. 
So one thing that I forgot to do earlier is basically to set my concealer and today I am using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm going to apply this on my chin, under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose and of course on my forehead. And I'm not going to let this sit long and then I'm also going to apply this under where I set my contour just to you know get those cheekbones looking snatch honey you got to do that cheekbones. Then I'm going to spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus, swipe everything off, swipe or no swiping, you know, you don't want to look dusty, all of that. And then I'm going to go in with my setter powder and just press everything in. So your look is not honestly complete until you hit that waterline. So let's go ahead and take one of our transition colors that we use for our eyeshadows and of course put it in our waterline to make our eyes pop out more. And then after that we're going to go ahead and take our blush by MAC which is Raisin of course my favorite. And we're going to go ahead and apply that to our cheekbones and then it's time to highlight ladies. So the palette I'm using to highlight is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Kiss Dip Palette. And I did use two highlights out of those. So of course your highlight is your choice, whichever one you want to use. And I wasn't really happy with it. So as you notice, I went back in with my blush brush and I just kind of blended that out a little more. So it wasn't as white looking as it was looking to me. Now I'm going in with my MAC Brown Chestnut Lip Liner. I'm also going to use my Pink Plaid Lipstick and I'm going to top that off with some lip gloss. So you guys, this is actually going to be the final look. Off camera, I did go ahead and apply some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. But other than that, this is the final look. I want to slim 